Hi, and welcome everyone to the second day of Women Courage 2015. I hope that you had a great day yesterday. This is what we got for the registrations this year. These are the words that were more frequently used when you were registering for this event. And I'm very glad to see that one of the biggest ones is networking. So I hope that yesterday was a big opportunity for you to make contacts and collaborations with people you've uh, met during the conference and that today you keep doing that. Uh, you can see other ones such as uh, collaboration and support and that's another thing you can find if you start these local communities as the ACMW chapters or the groups that you uh, spontaneously were creating yesterday. These are the uh, countries for the previous edition of Women Courage where people were coming from and if you look at the, this year's edition it's amazing how it has expanded and we have people from everywhere. I was just talking from people from uh, Dubai, yesterday was Singapore, so it's not only Europe, it's getting crazily big. Um, I was very happy to talk to people from the Czech Republic and Spain who are thinking of starting their own local celebrations in their, uh, for example, a, a celebration in Spanish. That could be uh, personally interesting for me, for example, and for some of you here as well. So it's great to see all this diversity. Uh, thank you once again to our gener uh, generous uh, sponsors, Uppsala University, ACM, ACMW Europe, and the branches in, uh, <laughs> I don't know which ones I mentioned, ACM Europe, ACMW, and ACMW Europe. And to our Diamond supporters, Google, INRIA, and Oracle. To our Platinum supporters, Bloomberg, Cisco, and Facebook to our gold supporter, uh, supporter IAR, IAR Systems, and to our silver supporters, the Free BSD Foundation, Informatics Europe, Intel, and Microsoft Research. Uh, again, thanks for, uh, for their support so that the students could get here through the scholarships. Uh, I talked to some of them yesterday, and you can see the pictures online, they seem pretty happy. So. And thank you all for making Women Encourage a successful event. Thank you especially to the volunteers who were donating the time, uh, moving poster boards and helping with anything that we needed. You were really, really helpful and uh, thanking you in advance for the help today as well. And to all of you, thank you for the feedback provided. If you haven't done so uh, already, please go to the feedback forms on the website and give us input on the different uh, sessions that you've been attended. And the same goes for today. We will use your input to make the next Women Encourage uh, even better. So we've been talking about ACMW, about these celebrations, the chapters, but uh, some of you have been asking, how do I start doing this? How, how do I join? So I would like to introduce our next speaker so that we get, uh, we get to know more about this. And I can't think of anyone who has more experience in ACMW who has been more involved. Uh, she's such a huge role model for me, so I am very happy to share that <laughs> with you today. So please join me in welcoming to the stage uh, Valerie Barr, uh, the ACMW cha chair. At ACMW, who we are and what we do. Um, we are the Association for Computing Machinery Council on Women in Computing. So yesterday you heard from Alex Wolf, the president of ACM, about what ACM is, what ACM does. Um, I like to think of ACMW as being uh, sort of the conscience of ACM when it comes to issues of gender diversity in computing. Um, and a really activist arm of ACM around uh, gender diversity in computing. So as you heard from Alex, I thought, he said 112,000 members. I thought 113,000. I think it sounds better. And if it's not 113,000 already, I'm sure it will be soon. 
and we are in over 100 countries around the world. So I encourage all of you. How many of you are ACM members already? Excellent. So those of you who aren't should become members. And it's very easy. Just go to acm.org. And for students, it's very inexpensive. And you can also very easily join ACMW, no charge. And if you look at your lanyard, your conference lanyard, at the bottom, it'll say women.acm.org. You just go to that website. and the upper right-hand corner, there's a Join button. Click that, and it puts you on our 36,000-person email distribution list. You'll get our monthly connections newsletter, and you'll be able to keep on top of what we're doing all over the world. OK. So our mission, basically, is to support, to support, celebrate, and advocate internationally for the full participation of women in computing. And our activities are all geared toward recruiting, retaining, and supporting women in computing activities. So our main programs are our celebrations of women in computing, like Women Courage. We now have about 25 of these events worldwide, including uh, India, Cuba, Puerto Rico, the US, Australasia, Europe, uh, and who knows where we'll go next. Uh, we also have ACMW chapters, both student chapters and professional chapters. And the idea with a local chapter is that it's a way for you to have local community with other women in computing and to have a both connection into ACM and a way to organize yourselves around doing activities and events in your own local region. So it's really about continuing the networking that you're doing here, building your network locally, building a support structure for yourselves locally. We also provide scholarships for women computing students to attend research conferences. In many ways, this is probably our biggest impact program, um, and I'll say a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, but we are spending about $40,000 a year on those scholarships with thanks to many of the companies, all companies whose names you've already saw, Google, Microsoft Research, and Oracle. Um, and we give the Athena Lecturer Award to a prominent woman computer science researcher each year. Uh, this past year went to Jennifer Widem from Stanford University. OK, so about those scholarships. Uh, the really critical thing, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to read all the words. Um, but the really critical thing about our scholarship program is that you do not have to be presenting at the conference you attend. Unlike a lot of funding that comes from your academic institutions or other resources where you can only get money if you're presenting a paper, we look at this as a program that encourages women to continue on in computing. So we give a high percentage of our awards to undergraduates because we want to encourage them to go on to graduate school. We give awards to master's students in hopes that you'll continue on to the PhD, and awards to early PhD students to help you get out there, find your research community, make connections that may be beyond the advisors you have at your own institution. We think that this is really important to get women computer science students engaged in the research community out there at conferences. and. We have support from just over half of the ACM special interest groups. So if you want to attend a SIG conference, you get a scholarship from us. If it's one of the conferences of one of the SIGs listed there, you will not only get the scholarship from us, you will also get free conference registration from the SIG, and you will get a conference mentor. Because one of the things we realize is that for a lot of of students, the first time you go to a big research conference, you don't have a clue what to do. How do you maximize that experience? How do you get the most out of it? How do you meet people? You're in this place, there's you know, 1,000, 2,000 people, most of them men, most of them older than you are. What do you do? And so a conference mentor helps you navigate those waters and find your way. 
Um, and what's really exciting for us is when we can send a group of people to the same conference, and then they become their own little uh, cohort and navigate the conference together, which has been, for some, in some cases, extremely exciting. And we get great pictures. Um, and so this is the list of all the people who run our programs. Ray Ann Afer, stand up, is ACMW chair, ACMW Europe chair. Um, we also have ACMW India and uh, chairs of all of our various programs. So we just look forward to hearing from you and look forward to you getting more involved locally with ACMW Europe, with your own local chapters. We'd love to see more celebration events happening in communities across Europe. And um, we look forward to adding you to that big 36,000 person email distribution list so you'll get ACMW Connections every month. Thanks.